All right, so friends, welcome. We're playing some standard. Looking forward to the Pro Tour. And we're trying out the uh, most aggro deck in the entire format, Boros. This is the list that underscore against underscore took to a uh, top eight in a Magic Online challenge. And uh, I feel like this deck would be absolutely busted if it had Inspiring Vantage. Like, the, the one real drawback to this deck is the mana base. We're playing a Thran Portal, three Mirix in our two-color deck, you know, Avern of Souls. The, the mana is just kind of rough, but the power... The, the ceiling of the power level here is a Pioneer deck, where you have just turn to Knight Errant and go nuts. Uh, love Case the Gateway Express here. Like Sanguine Evangelist a lot also. It's a way to play, play a bunch of bodies and have a little uh, insulation against removal spells uh, and sweepers and stuff like that too. And uh, just going wide and attacking and, uh, and getting it done here. Cyborg's got some kill spells in it. Peacekeepers, you kind of get the idea. Nothing crazy here. Let's, uh, let's give it a spin and see how it feels. Brought to you by... In the search for the ultimate weapon, knowledge is power. Introducing Draftsmith, your new secret weapon for Magic the Gathering Arena Limited Mode. Draftsmith helps you pick the perfect card every time by providing an in-depth rating for each card. These ratings adapt based on the cards you've already chosen, making sure you always stay one step ahead of the competition. After the draft is done, Draftsmith recommends the optimal deck based on the cards you have chosen. No more, win more. Download DraftSmith today from untap.gg. So far, it seems that consensus is that uh, the uh, the Boros Anthem is not the right way to go in this deck. Just playing Evangelist and playing more creatures is, is better. Play four, four case than the Evangelist. Um, I haven't personally tested the theory a ton myself, but... That's what the uh, the hive mind is currently thinking. Chat coming out, man. We're gonna go warden. We have Epicure Inspector on two, which is great. We got an Anchorage from our opponent. Esper. So we just played Esper, and tr it, it just seemed awful. Now we're obviously gonna get trashed by it. <laughs> like, here's Deep Cavern Bat. Take their rule spell, smart. All right, so we're gonna go land. Um, yeah, we'll Epicure Inspector. We could have reinforcements, but let's just get our attacks on. So, Epicure deal one. Anthem is just like specifically not great with Knight Errant. Uh, I can't convoke it, nor can be hit off of it. So, top card's Cavernous Souls. We can keep that and uh, just do our thing. Getting in. Obviously, they have a Rafine here. It's a little annoying, but, like, I think we're ahead of it, so. They have a cut down for the Warden. Their last chance to kill it before it gets too big. Here comes the Deep Cavern Bat. And I think we're just naming, uh, just naming Vampire here. Going to play around this uh, Make Spirits kind of face up. Uh, cleric, human knight, human knight. Obviously, human's a better name in, in general, but um, vampire does have a few targets. Yeah, with two vandal sandwich and a vampire here, so we'll attack first. I mean, they kind of a freaking two-two. That suck, but right, let's stack. All right, dodge that bullet. We're gonna name vampire. Sanguine Evangelist. Nice, no more lies. Dum dum. We got a bat. It's a mastermind, sure, it's fun. Battle cry. I'll, I'll show you my battle cry. They draw a Rafine. Alright, that's not great. Uh Send him a clowns. Lifelink on the bat. This card two wagon announcements. All right, we're gonna block this. All right, so unfortunately, this bat might just run away with the game here. I mean, attacking with the bandwas isn't even good here. Oh man. Two cards in hand. We can reinforcements and demolition. Probably where we're at. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
play all chapter out and just say go. Build your own Bane Slayer. Here comes just the bat. Discard the Lemoir Lies so we played around. Awesome. Okay. We draw a Knight Errant, which is pretty sweet. Um, we do need some help here, that's for damn sure. Can't mana leak this one, obviously. We draw Imidane's Recruiter and Sanguine Evangelist. Obviously, we're scared of another mana leak, but I think it's just Evangelist and Recruiter. Take this thing and this thing. Play the Uncounterable Evangelist and just, like, go for a big attack next turn, hopefully. Yeah. All right. I mean, they're a pretty high life total, but... Do they have another No More Lies is the question. Obviously, it's just face up, so... They have a cut down. Mm. This probably just comes down to, like, do they have another No More Lies or not? Is if they can counter their feet this thing, or draw another bat, I guess. They can't counter this, like, it's actually a ton of damage next turn. Everything is 3 power, which is, you know, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's 12. 12 times 3, and then more power on top of that. What's up, Pear Bear? Lucky you, my friend, are playing Blue White Control next. Alright, so. They're going to Rafine. They discard three spells here. They discard one spell. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, sure. No blocks. 26. Come on! <laughs> Unfreaking believable. Alright, well, if I attack at everything, what happens? They block this, they gain one, they're at 27. This is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. What a frustrating game. Uh, yeah, I, I guess we're just dead. I mean, we can, like, play the Warden and Puppet a bunch of times. If they don't have a, a counter spell or a bubble spell, but... <sighs> Tough games. All right, I guess. Um, been that. I guess I should have tapped this. That was dumb. We're still, we're still in the air. It doesn't really matter. I, I get jump block when Chief can't win. So, all right. Tough game, obviously. They hit all their spots really, really clearly. Uh, that's fine. It happens. Uh, we're going to bring in our... Barrages. Cutting. Kind of like don't want to cut anything. I feel like all our cards are just pretty good. Got the frontliners, I guess. Cards like throw the worst card in the deck. Maybe an express. Obviously they're a fiend a bunch of times. So like they're all their looting put together, all their good cards, you know, which is reasonable. Um I'm going to cut a case. Try this. I'll apply. Yeah, it's fine. We can keep this. Not great, but 
works. Opponent mulligans. Alright, Cavern on human. Play a warden, so yeah. Good old Thran portal ready to rock and roll here. Um, Still a piece of garbage. We could like maybe avoid playing the portal. We're gonna reinforcements tap scry, play Mandel's next turn. Kind of just like avoid playing the portal. Just play this, then play this. Yeah, it's like fun. Pump it up. Top card is Epicure. Ship that. I want to pay off. Your turn. Alright, here's go for the throat, so... We draw Barrage. Yeah, just a Vandalist. Time for two. They miss their land drop. Alright, so... This is on human anyway. We just gotta jam here at the battle cry, I think, so it's jam. They don't have like a flash creature either? What are they doing over there? Alright, she's a. Uh, I don't know, white. Sego. Man, not very good games today. Uh, yeah, sure. Obviously, that's fine. Uh, I'll go to game three. We're on the draw now. Anything change on the draw? Evangelists, they do have some pretty good blockers. I mean, they have rule spells, too. You want the the fourth gateway over Evangelist, maybe? I think a rooting stuff is kind of important. I'm going to shave one of these. All right. Oh, my God. All right, we're going to mulligan his hand, obviously. All killer, no filler. That's a lot better. So we have the stones here. We just have Inspector and the Demolition Knight. All right, yeah, this is, this, this is the stones. Obviously, they bat us pretty bad, but I'm going to do. All right, so we're going to Warden. No bat, please. Give me a Denic or something. Sure. I mean, obviously, they could have a Counterspell here, which would be kind of annoying, but... Is he a novice inspector? Demolition? Probably have no more lies, just like... Alright, cool. Um... Let's take the rebuilds in case they have lockdown. It's sort of like, okay, why do they keep their hand? They have no removal spells. They have no counter spells. They have no two drop. Temporary lockdown makes a lot of sense. Um, so we just take like the knight and the sanguine. Oh, actually, we're just gonna pound them out anyway. So, all right, they have removal spell. They destroy. Uh, they destroy evil. So they specifically destroy evil. So if they have a lockdown here. We're pretty sad. They don't. I think the game is probably over. So. Can't play lockdown. They have a wedding announcement. Watch out, watch out. Oh boy, friend. Uh, sure. Thran portal on red. I mean, we're just gonna evangelist and then play Night Errant, right? Like, yeah. Here's an evangelist. And then we're gonna play Night Errant. And take these. And now I'll attack for one or pump or to pump. Pump and scry. Sweeper or busto, friend. Your turn. 
So far, the theme of the day is Esper's not very good. Uh, that's been my uh, my impression so far. Without like the good bat Rafine draw, Esper just doesn't have uh, doesn't really have it going on. You could have picked a better spot. Opponents of a tank, they have a 1-1 one, one in play. Could take a we only have, three, only have three mana, so taking a bunch of reinforcements is going to make a lot of sense. Like they do have temporary lockdown. Alright, I mean, our board's still, like, fine. Um, we can just dump our hand. So let's attack for four, dump our hand. We can go, we can go reinforcements, warden, warden, knight. That's cool. All right? We can go... Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that's good. Attack for four. Temporary lockdown in your wedding announcement deck, you know? Makes sense. All right, so we're going to go Warden. Warden. Reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived. Top six. All right, two hits. So there you go. Do you have another lockdown? If you do, I have two four fours and a Evangelus, so. Raphine. Flip the thingy over. Um. Okay, so. It's time to start looking at these Wardens. I guess a warden. Top cards mountain. Top cards reinforcement. Shift that on. Um. Hmm. <sighs> You're at fifteen. I guess we're just pumping again, right? Like, our attacks aren't great. We can just draw with a clue and see what we draw. I guess kind of better, better idea. That's bad against bat, though. I mean, we'll just chill. I'm just gonna pump. Hello! Bingo. All right. There's no point in attacking either. I'm just say uh, go. Sure. So there you go. Another lockdown would be annoying, but I would still have two knights and an evangelist in play with an emanates in my hand too, so. Ska played this deck of your store championship and whipped on your first two knight errands. Were you playing the uh, the Boros Anthem? They have like an actual wrath, do they? That'd be so gross. Yeah, Boros Anthem is how many of the whiffs that contain the Boros Anthem? Game. Blouse. Dex obviously got some powerful draws, that's for damn sure. Alright, um Let's roll here. This hand is tame, but fine, obviously. I can keep this. Mountain, Monastery, Suspir, come on down. All right. We draw a Demolition, which is pretty good, obviously. I mean, this is a little on the painful side, unfortunately, but I think we play Novice Inspector first. Try and shield the Warden from our rule spell. Try and get it pumped up a few times before we can. Here's Felden. I have a Link to a Lands combo deck. Everything's in the, in the uh, what's it called? Everything's in the uh, dex thing. All right, no blocks. Explanation point dex. So like, if we go Epicure, Epicure, then next turn, Warden tap Demolition. Can I get it to, uh, to its four toughness? I think you just have a, a Wish Slogger's Frenzy anyway, but if I play Warden now, tap three, Tap, I thought I would do that. Just go Warden. Tap three. 
Demolition, tap three. Yeah, it'd be a three. It'd be a three four. It's pretty good. Sure, let's do that. So let's go. Fortunately, our lands are pretty painful here too. But let's play Silk on the lands. Let's go land warden. We're gonna we're not playing not gonna play Mirror because we need mana for next turn. I think so. I'm just gonna go pretty aggro here. Pump that. Do this. Pump this. Sure. Like that. I'm a fan. Don't have Witch Stalker's Frenzy, please. So they get in for six here. I attack back if I want to. Four, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, fifteen. For sixteen, not quite enough. Um, pretty sure we're just gonna epicure, epicure. Get this warden up to uh, up to speed here. Bin Battlefield Forge. Set up for Recruiter next turn. Kind of want a Blood, maybe? A Blood Task. God. Just bad design. Shame on you, Wishes of a Coast, for Blood having to tap for it to activate and Clues not having to tap to activate. All right, play Mirix. Play Epicure. Let's just pump again. One, two, three. Um, so we're going to Imidanes. I think they're just dead next turn, so I don't think it really matters that much as long as we don't die. Um, so it's like there a particular card I want on top. Probably not the Vandalus, so. All right, so let's attack for five. Just, like, not die, and then we'll just kill him with, with Imidanes next turn. This thing gets haste to things too, so if I find, if I find a one drop, I can play another one drop too. Here's the spear. They are coming in, folks. All right, so if they have Witch Talker's Frenzy, which they if they had it last turn, they would have gotten us already. We're in trouble, but if not, I think we're fine. Um, I mean, say they have a lightning strike, right? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hit a monstrous rage also. Monstrous rage is worse than lightning strike. I need to maintain enough to kill them on the backswing. So Imidane's is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, it's plenty. So we should make, we should make blocks here. It's fun. Um, we should block here and here. So we don't give him a card either. This is fun. Okay. 13 to 6, we draw Knight Errant. It's not exactly uh, great for us, but... Yeah, I mean, just ship it, right? They have a they have Foundry to block. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, they're just super dead, I think, so... Cast Recruiter, send it! Hello? My stack of cards? Can I see my stack of cards more? Got some World Soul Rages. Let's see my stack of cards? See? Look at this, see? Okay. I had to get, I had to get the freaking stupid full art and this is all they had. I was pissed off about it, but whatever. There you go, stack of cards. Eh. Five Deep Cavern Bats, very important. Some Tide Binders. Sunfall, Jace, look at this stack of cards. Look at this. Look at this stack of cards. Just got cards. 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 Pretty cool, right? All right, so uh, if I mono red, we're going to bring in our lantern flares. And, and the festivities doesn't seem great against them, honestly. 
They're probably going to have end of festivities for me, so I need to be aware of that. Make sure my deck is a a little less bad against it. Got these frontliners. Um, you know what, Thalia? I think it's just fine as is. All right, and is pretty good barring Thran Portal. But it's a mulligan. I mean, we're going to keep this, but, like, the three portal does suck pretty bad. I really, I really hate this card. It's almost, like a, it's almost like a me how much I hate this card at this point. I'm telling you, best thing I got Inspire Advantage. Woo, let me tell you. Remember, folks, if you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Seriously, YouTube, folks, take a second, like the video, support the content. You're still here, you're still watching, and I appreciate you. And you make all this possible. So hit that like button, support the content, all right? Um, maybe I will play Crypto Coat. Um, hmm. So we kind of like just need... We're playing, paying one for all of our white cards anyway, so whatever. Let's play white. Let's play the Inspector in Sigio. Put a Mulligan, but our obviously our draw is pretty painful here. All of our white is uh, going to cost us some life, but our hand's pretty good. They have their nut draw here. Not really. It is a 2-drop, but not as good as a 3-3. Three, three. Draw another Imidane's Recruiter. Alright, I mean... I'm just gonna reinforcements, I guess, right? Just die for one. Shivan Devastator. Squee! Ugh. Try to lift this guy back. Alright, we're in trouble, uh, honestly. This is a pretty good 1 2 3 curve from them. And our, uh, ours is not as good. We're already 8 with two pain lands in play. <laughs> oh, I ate the red portal. Um, all right. Like. In. Play Inspector. I think we're just dead. I don't think we actually win, but. Play Knight. Warden. We're at six. Oh, you just can't win, right? Like, we're just dead on board, basically. This blocks this, this blocks this, and I go to two. Sure. What's up, Joe? New sub. What's your name? Where from? Welcome. I mean, that sucks. Their draw is pretty good. Uh, that's fine. Go to game three. Uh, no changes. Flavor Shoddy says, Jim, want to let you know you've been a long time watcher on my Xbox? You can do that? Um, went back. I liked every video, so video could, could on BDM. Thanks for helping become a better drafter. You're the best, brah. You're great. I'll play first. Oh. One more land. This hand's great. Ah, we're gonna mulligan. I mean, I guess. Let's keep this in ship. Probably just a mountain, actually. Alright. Uh, land inspector, go. Should I get, I mean, I have warden. I have warden and I can pop it on turn two. Let's do that, actually. Let's go warden. YouTube app on Xbox? Sweet. Right. Another planes? That's pretty cool. I'm just going to reinforcements and pump. Um, I'm in for Evangelist. It's a little soft to uh, the one damage everything card, but I think it's better than a random card, probably. Helps pump the Warden, too. One two two Phoenix Chick, very powerful. One Suspir, sure. I guess unfortunately, I I, I punted actually. This card doesn't work against the Kamano, which is a huge problem actually. That's kind of a tilt. All right, put this thing in. I'm sort of blocking trade, I guess, but let's do this. 
Pump and see. Imidane's recruiter. Love it. All right. Um... Hmm. They have an obliterating bolt. I'm pretty sad. But whatever. I'm just going to attack. I'm not going to block, I don't think. So I think I'm going to block the Evangelist on the uh, Kamano. I'm not going to get a token, which sucks. But Joe says, long time lurker of a stream. Actually, Bronze I think I'm still terrible, but slowly and surely picking up your thinking. Thanks for all you do from Atlanta. Awesome, Joe. You're great. Appreciate you. Thanks so much. If you're a sub, you're not in the Discord. What are you doing? Get in the Discord. Support the content. And then also, you get supported by me. I get to you get to play free games, prizes, all sorts of cool stuff. Oh, my God. All right. Well, the rant's pretty good, but I guess it's fine. I mean, that was obviously a, uh, a Witch Talker Frenzy pause. Could have been a monstrous growth pause. That would suck. Um... Maybe I just don't block. Just try and go for, go for lethal next turn. What do we have? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It is lethal, technically. All right, no blocks. Yeah, they have a Witch Locker's Frenzy, sure. They're not lethal, but that's fine. We're 9. So Imidane's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's 16? No! Let's count it again. So recruiters, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. No, it's 16. Why is it 16? Uh, two cards in hand. Son of a... I counted recruiters four. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Plus battle cry is thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. God, unbelievable. All right. Um. Crap. So we just need to stay alive somehow. Kill them next turn. Fight a land we win, yeah. All right, so. Warden, Inspector, kind of like hard to tap stuff. Like I get to act for a little chunk here, and then just like fire in a block or two and kill the next turn. All right, let's do that. This is two, four, six. And then it's three, six, nine. Hmm. Three guaranteed in the air. It's not 17, it's 16. I counted it four times. I don't know if I, not, if I could have sent him one more or not, but say go. Alright. Alright. I mean, they're at 11. 3, 6, 9, 13. They swing all out, you know. It's an interesting spot. Here come the chicks! The chicks! Now they have three blockers? Wow. They're playing the long game here. I don't know if I can afford to... to play the long game also, though, right? Because, like... If I go over the recruiter, I attack with everything. They have three blockers. They have three blockers and a shock. I guess they just kill us, they kill us pre-combat, too. Could just go like Epicure and just make some pumps on my Warden. Yeah, fuck it. We'll know immediately if it doesn't work or not because they'll kill this thing pre-combat. They don't kill the thing. All right, whatever. You figure it out. You figure it out. Activate the Foundry, sure.
Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. This is currently eighteen damage. Shrug. Shrug. Just send him into the red zone. That's all you gotta do. Let God sort him out. Alright, on the draw. Kind of a scrappy 2-0 here, but... Deck's certainly uh, doing its thing. Might do a metagame challenge? Probably not. We draw a, or a, a Gleeful. Alright, let's go uh, Inspector first. Gonna cut down my guy. Bring it. Cut him down. Yeah, whatever, sure. Yeah, that's, that's a card. So they take my Imidane's Recruiter. We draw a case the Gateway Express. It's pretty sweet. So name a red on this thing. Just gonna say go. Let's fire up with reinforcements, then we'll case down the bat, probably. An unsolvable case. Solved. Grixis, but all like basics. Uh, okay. Do they have a corpse appraiser? Wow. We've come full circle to corpse appraiser. You got it. Yeah, I mean, this card's really, really good. They mill a preacher and a make disappears. The card they took is really, really good, they're saying. Draw land. Cannot draw land. Nor does our mana even function. This the mana base of his deck is tough. Um, I guess we could warden pump pump, but the problem is that like it's probably just gonna die. Killing the bat right now isn't even really worth it, because like who cares? Yeah, we're just gonna go warden pump, demolition pump. It's scry too, so all right, keep the night. All right, I mean, barring a sweeper, you know they have a Gickus command or something like that. We're screwed. But there's a Souffleur Springs. You're saying it wrong. It's Levi Osar. Here's Shelly. We have a case. I gotta be dollars. I can fight the case. Well played, detective. Well played indeed. Um. Okay. So we draw. We case. We case down Shelly. Play knight. An attack. It's all really good. So sure. Get out of here. Get off my plane. Oh, only one card. Come on. Attack for this. Still in great shape here, though, I think, so. Hitting Shelly with the old Tommy gun. Here's a Gix. That's fine. Like, we're slapping next turn, so. Draw a card. Kind of draw land. You draw a Gleeful Demolition. That's not bad either. I mean... We're about to go huge on this warden. Um, sure. Oh, they have make spear now. Right, hold on. All right, let's go one, two, three. Top card is a land. Should keep that. Make disappear check. That one worked too. So, like, I mean, Gix's command would be terrible for us. I kind of want to turn the case on, too. I kind of want to just jam. Is that weird? Just like freaking Leroy. 
Turn on our case. We'll lose a token or two. Get it for a bunch. Say, say they kill this. Like, worse, they, they, they do blade this. They eat two tokens. It takes six. Win the case. Well, I'm just going to freaking do it. You figure it out. Sure. So I should go for the throat. Because they're going to lose life to the Gix anyway. It, this, only, this is only really bad if they have a shielder to gain life off Gix. Um... Could have maybe left back the 4-4 four -four to block Gix. So their attacks aren't as good. But them losing life is good for us, obviously. So, like, unless they have exactly Shielder to gain the life back off the draws immediately. I think this is pretty good for us. Like, they're super DOB, right? We should have, like, a bajillion 2-2s. Two -two So it looks like they're just a mirror splashing for Corpse Praiser. Alright. It is a vampire. You can't just play Cavern of Soul, I suppose, right? Works for me. Game. Nice. So. What do we even want against them? Like. I mean, destroy evil, kill shoulder, but not much else. Crap Boy says, hey Jim, what do you think of the case in this deck? How many copies do you run and when do you think we should board them out? It's not my list, but this list, this list does seem very tight. I think this is like a pretty much the, the consensus like stock list at this point. Uh, no Boros Anthems, four case, four evangelist. I think case is great. Like, the fact that it's a removal spell is also synergized with the deck is phenomenal. Uh, you board it out against decks where you want to kill things for the most part, I would guess, but otherwise it seems great. I mean, like... I don't really want Peacekeeper. I don't want Dahlia. Again, I don't even know if I want Destroy Evil. I don't think I do. It's not Stamp Pad, I think, honestly. Well played, Detective. Well played, indeed. Yeah, the Anthem is just, like, not great with, uh, with Knight Errant, and then just, like, kind of awkward in a lot of ways, honestly. Alright, um, we can keep this. It's, like, pretty bad against sweepers, but, like, I actually can't really afford to mulligan his hand, I don't think. Cavern Souls is awkward. The mana of this deck is, like, pretty suspect. Like, we're gonna name Human here, and, like, just maybe not be able to cast this Evangelist, but, I mean... What am I gonna do? You know, like... Giga Chad, no changes. I would just, I would, Adeline doesn't fit very well in this deck because, like, we don't want one big attacker. We want a bunch of small, crappy attackers, so. They have the bat. It's annoying. They hit our Imidines. Oh, come on. Somebody's playing a prank on me. All right. They have some sort of superhero. Obviously, we're in trouble, but... The mana is, like, by far the worst part of his deck. Like, it's just by far. Here's Harvester, sure. Well, that's good, at least. Alright, so... Do we throw away one token for one damage? I think we do. Especially in the face of Posse being swept, too, so... Connect the dots in the board. I don't know. That card seems pretty bad. Like, it's just, like, four mana to maybe draw some cards. Like, I can see playing, like, one or two. Maybe it has serious diminishing returns also, though. Crack of Blood, discarding a Shieldred. Alrighty, then. Beneath this mask, I am crying. Four mana, four cards. I guess card's pretty sweet. This is the kind of card that, like, it's just a good... Nuts and bulls, meat and potatoes kind of card. Again, this was top eight at a, a, a Magic Online uh, challenge. And, like, you know, this is, like, effectively basically the stock list at this point.
Here comes the appraiser. I mean, if I draw a land, we should soak us on attack. It's pretty good, too. Wow. Really? Hold up. What's going on here? Why are they offering their bat for my bet? My bat. I mean, just like, just batty. They just not realize I have a flyer in play. I mean, casting Imidane's next turn seems pretty sweet. They could have Vampire's Vengeance. That's fair. I mean, I have Vampire's in play. I'm just a freaking block. Dark Coward of Souls. What is the deal? We took the bait. We took the bait. But now what do we do? Oz are playing Bainripper. Hopefully high. I mean, Recruiter's a lot of damage. Like... 3, 6, 9, 12. Yeah, it's like a bajillion damage. I'm just doing it. I'm just taking the bait. What am I going to do? I'm taking the freaking bait. Um, This is on human... This is on vampire. I mean, you could actually... If we wait for our turn, we could cast train troops... You know, I'm just going to walk right into it. Whatever you got, I'm walking right into it. We figure it out. So they blocked the Harvester on their Recruiter. No. Okay, sure. It's fine. I mean, if they have a Super here, it's obviously annoying. But, like, it's not the end of the world. Like... Okay. Uh, sure. They have two cards left. This is a weird game, folks. This has been a pretty weird game. I don't know what's going on here. Just gonna say go. Land Vaynerper. I want to see Vaynerper. Show me the Vaynerper. Alright, that'd be command. So, that'll probably do it. Yeah, card's pretty hard to beat. This deck does sort of feel like it just like, if opponents want to beat you, they will. If they don't try, they won't. Let me draw Epicure. Okay. They have a Reef, too. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What's up, Marty? Marty! Alright. I think we needed to draw a Knight Errant there, and we did not. So I think we are just dead. Um, we obviously got rid of our artifact, but like, I don't think three tokens wins the game here, so. Alright, go to game three. Don't really have great recourse against Gix's Command. Could bring in like that 3 3, but it's super easy to kill anyway, so. Yeah, Ash is playing a Grixis Vampire stack, right? Fire up the reef.
Let's see more of our deck. Uh, they still have Mage Spear in. It's good, good for good information. So we take eight here. Yeah, I don't think we can win, but we draw. Yeah, I mean, we're just dead. All right, next game. That's fine. Go to game three. Again, it's kind of like, this deck's kind of binary, where it's like, do they have sweepers? Yes, we can't win. No, we can't lose. That being said, we're on the play. We could bring in Peacekeeper. Try it to get his command, but like they can just do blade it over. All right, I'm sorry. It doesn't is is it is it tied to this? Yeah, it's tied to the ability. So the thing is, like, is connected dots going to win the game? Like post gets his command. Like if they've already played it, applied less pressure, and then like is drawing a few one ones going to matter at that point in the game? Like probably not. So like, I, I, I card doesn't seem good to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but on the play. Ugh. No one drop. How is that possible? Um, I mean, if we draw Inspector, Epicure, or Frontliner, the sand is great. We have no one drop, though. So we go Enforcements on two. Two cases for bats. Ugh. Like I might keep this on the draw, but <sighs> keep them all good, folks. What do you think? I don't think we can keep this. We got ten great draws, but. Like, reinforce was in a possible case. It's fine. It's been time also. Or right, Mulligan. Oh, chat. Chat's real mad. All right, sure. I'm Mulligan. Good job, chat. Ugh. All right. I'm just keeping. We're not winning on five. We're good. Let's actually lead on Epic here. Let's draw a land, please. One land. Hand's great. Don't want to get bad at either, but... Souffleris Splings. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. Duress! Where are we? you, Psycho? We draw land, too? God, we're awesome. Alright, so... The question is, do we just cast this now? Or where should I say go? I think I was going to make the spirit, but, like, I think it's fine. So. Never didn't have it. Double Sulfurous Springs. Alright, now they're having mana problems. Here's reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived. We draw land here for the, the full Monty. I get a killer creature to play around my uh my knight. Go for the throat on a raise the alarm token. Love it. We draw land. Love it. God, we're so good. Alright, so we're just gonna take our knight here. We could cast the Evangelist, but we can't knight. I'm just gonna play this play knight. Make sure I resolve it before they can batter or something like that. Get a token. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, we're we're, we're there, folks. We're there. Oh yeah. Um I think I want a mixture of costs. We'll take one of each. Yeah. Alright. So there you go. Hope they got airbags. Suspect is hatless. Repeat, hatless. Tap land go. Oh my god, they're getting blown out. Alright, uh attack with everything. What are we scared of? I guess like Path of Peril. If I play Evangelist, we get Path of Peril. I still have the Evangelist, obviously. I could also just end step reinforcements or play Inspector. Honestly, they probably have Vampire's Vengeance, right? If they're playing always Vampires, that makes sense that that was our sweeper of choice. So... Um... Yeah, that's my Vandalist, I guess. So they're actually playing like a ton of vampires. I don't know. We'll see. We have two vampires in play. Oh, it's Brotherhood's End! It was a Path of Pharaoh or Vampire's Vengeance. Alright, sure. Um, eh, let's do our thing, I guess. Usually you gotta double tap this deck. The second Super is the one that gets them. Let's do this and say go. 
brotherhood's end. We are no longer brothers. Alright. They have a counterspell. It's so. They have a reef hiding here, too. Cut down my bat token. Uh, okay. Ship it. Hit it again. Hit the button. Takanuma. Another Brotherhood's End and a Corpse Appraiser? Sure. I'm feeling good about this game, folks. You can think Ixus Command now, so you have, like, clues to play and stuff now, at least. And they have no boards, so... Here's Corpse Appraiser. What do you got, friend? We got a case. I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for those meddling kids. They, so they took cards better than land land. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's ship it. Well, I couldn't possibly solve this mystery. Can you? Pow! You lose. Good Tax step. Show me, a, show me a go for the throat. Oh, love it. Go to one. You're one, friend. Draw a card. Planes. Alright, let's say go. Blood this Thran portal. Get this thing out of here. Gone. Still a piece of there it is. Alright, three out the Convoke deck. Our opponents played only like two or three sweepers, and therefore we were able to crush everyone, so that's pretty sweet. Also. All right, 3-0. and uh, This is probably the most binary deck in the entire format in that, like, if you don't put any effort into beating it, you often won't, although it will occasionally just fail because the mana's bad. But if you try to beat it, you will beat it most of the time. Uh, you know, double tap deck. Cast second sweeper, you're probably going to win. Uh, but like the build, like the no, no anthems, like the four evangelists, people are poo-pooing this card, but, like, I think it just plays really well what the deck's trying to do. Love the cases. List is pretty stock, but um, there you go. If you're a beatdown player, ship it. All right. Uh, more on stream. You do folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. You're all great. Peace.